Hello, my name is Igor, and in this short video presentation we will talk about the month calendar widget, its properties and its features. We will also go over a simple example of the widget's usage to present the ease of its implementation, which in turn may give you ideas on how to use the widget for your own benefit. The month calendar widget was introduced in Uniface in the early stages of version 9, based on customer requests and customer input. Up until its introduction, the only way in which you could implement a calendar control within your application was to utilize an OCX container. By introducing the month calendar widget as a standard native field widget, using the OCX control for this purpose has become obsolete. The month calendar widget is implemented in Uniface as a wrapper around the Microsoft Windows calendar control. It is meant to be used primarily as a date picker, However, it can also be used to display data containing date-like information, be it of a date or a string data type. The fields upon which the month's calendar widget is to be imposed need to comply with the display format of YYYYMMDD, otherwise the date will not be shown properly or the action of changing the date will not succeed. Now, Let's see an example of how the calendar widget can be used. Let's look at the following form. This is a simple form. It has only two fields painted. Both of them are date fields. Field date 2 is represented by an edit box, and field date 1 is represented by a calendar widget. In this form, we are going to do a simple assignment from field date 1 to date 2, and it's going to happen in the value change trigger of the calendar widget. For the calendar widget, we specify an interface definition of D for date field, and for the layout properties, we specify a display format of YYYYMMDD. The calendar widget has a variety of properties which can be accessed via the defined properties form. Here you can change the background color, foreground color, or whether the first day of the week is going to be Sunday, Monday, or any other day of the week that you need. By default, the first day of the week is always Sunday. If the field doesn't have a value specified, so it, it doesn't have a value assigned, there's no date yet, the calendar widget is going to display the current month and the current date as specified by the system date. If, however, the field does have a value, uh, the calendar widget is going to display that particular value in it when the form is run. If we run this form, we can see that the current month is January 2010. The message select a date only appears if the field doesn't have a value. If the field has a value, then it's not going to appear. Once we click on a field, we can see that the value change trigger fires and the value is correctly assigned to the edit box as well. You can change the months in the calendar widget by clicking on the month's name in the title bar. The same way you can also change the year or you can go from month to month by clicking on the arrows back and forth. Now let's look at the modification of this form where the calendar widget is going to appear more um, as a date picker. In this form, the calendar widget will be hidden by default, which is specified by the syntax definition. And it's only going to appear when we want to select a value for the edit box. And we're going to do it by using the third field, which is a command button. And in the detail trigger, we're going to unhide the field by changing the field syntax. After the value is assigned, the value change trigger, we're going to change the syntax back so that the field is hidden again. In practice, it will work like this. We click on the command button, we select a value, the calendar widget disappears, and the value is assigned to the edit box. 
if we want to change the value we select another date the value is assigned to the field and the calendar widget disappears to learn more about the calendar widget you can access the online help by pressing F1 in your development environment or you can access the Uniface library on CompuVerse Frontline.